Catherine. There's kind of a trend, I guess, going around of people wanting to read books and, you know, a certain amount of time. And yeah, I don't think that I can do that because like my age number is getting pretty high. And so um, I decided that I would like to kind of join in on the trend, but I want to do five bigs by 55. So I want to read five big books by the time I turn 55. So I have about five and a half years to do that. So I figured if I do one big book a year, then, you know, that will be all right. But there are some that I consider big books because they're intimidating as the page length. And um, I made my own little list. Like I, I want to read more like Christian stuff, right? So, I mean, there are some Christian aspects in classics but there was other things in them too. So I don't know, just, I only, I figure I only have so much time left. So these are the five that I've picked for myself. The first one I want to read is one that I've always wanted to, to pick up, but it is quite large to pick up and intimidating. We have it at the church library and I pass it all the time. I'm like, I know I need to read that book. And that is Christie by Catherine Marshall. And Mitzi at Mitzi Reads and Writes, she really liked it. And so then I was like, okay, yeah, that's it. I'm going to have to read it now. And if I can space it out through a longer time, you know, that might be helpful as well. So that's the first one. And I'm reading that because it is a classic in the Christian realm. Um, and so that's number one. Number two is The Mysteries of Udolpho by Anne Radcliffe. And that is on my list because it is what's kind of considered like the origin, I guess. I Maybe if there's another one as well, and I have read that one. Um, but this one, I think, is like the origin of the Gothic. And so I definitely want to pick this up and try it. Um, it is, the copy on Goodreads says that it is 654 pages. <laughs> eee, that's like a lot. But since Gothic fiction is something I really enjoy, um, you know, this is quoted in Northanger Abbey. Um, so I definitely want to read it because that, that is my thing. <laughs> so yeah, that one. And it was hard to pick between that one and, um, The Woman in White by, um, Wilkie Collins because I haven't read that one either. So it was hard to pick of those two which to read for like Gothic, but I went with this one, like I said, for, um, those purposes. So the third one is a Wilkie Collins book, and that is The Moonstone. I've definitely wanted to read this book because I do love mysteries and I love, um, I just love the whole theme about, you know, like the, I think there's like a jewel that's been stolen and, um, so it's kind of, yeah, and it's, Histor it's kind of set in the historical times and it just sounds like really me. And so um, it's called The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins and it has 528 pages. So I'm gonna try that one out for that part of reading that I enjoy, mysteries. And then the fourth one, you know I love a biography and you know I love learning about heroes of our faith. And there is one hero that I have read a lot of books about and other books by this person. And <laughs> but for some reason, I have never picked up this biography of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, 
The One by Eric Metaxas. Y'all know that's a big one. It says 608 pages, but I do want to read it. We have it at the church too. And then the fifth one is y'all know I like a comfort book. I like stories about, I'm very character. I love characters and settings and comfort, all of that, right? So I want, I, I've never read this and my husband read it last, sometime last year, I think, and he loved it. It was a reread for him. And so I was like, okay, I have to read Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It comes in at 449 pages, so it's not quite 500, but 449 is like a lot of pages for me personally. So this is a challenge. So those are the five books I want to read. I think I hit all my favorite areas of reading. I have, you know, Heroes of the Faith in Christie and in Bonhoeffer, which is biographies. I have Mysteries of Adolfo, which is a gothic fiction. I have Moonstone, which is a mystery, kind of suspense. And I have Little Women, which is comfort. And, uh, characters and female relationships. So those are my five books. Let me know if you've read any of them, if you think maybe I'm taking on something I shouldn't, or yeah, just let me know what you think. And all right, I'll talk to you later.